So guys, as promised, I am back reviewing the next film in my series of reviews leading up to David Fincher's Gone Girl this October, and that review is for The Game, starring Michael Douglas. I apologize that my reviews came out a little bit slower this weekend. They're gonna be a little bit slower this week as well, because I'm actually currently in LA as you watch this. I'm gonna be visiting the Schmoes No podcast. I'm doing something with Screen Junkies. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to you guys checking out those podcasts that I go on with me. But let's talk about the game. I own the Criterion Blu-ray of this movie, and that's because I do like this movie a lot, despite the fact that there are some issues with the film. It's not David Fincher's best movie, but it is a very, very well-directed thriller, and one of Michael Douglas's best performances. One of the things that David Fincher did really well in this movie was build a continuing sense of dread, and that's something he did excellently with Seven, and with this film he was still really in tune with that, because as the film progresses, it starts off and you feel like there's something off, there's something wrong, you just sense that something isn't entirely right. And a lot of that is due to Michael Douglas's performance, because he is very captivating in this movie. He plays an a-hole. He's a businessman, he's really rude to everyone, he's rude to his family. No one likes this guy. And his brother, played by Sean Penn, offers him a gift. It's this life-changing, he calls it, thing called CRS. It's a company that he says makes your life fun. And once he eventually accepts the terms and conditions, nowadays you just check a little box online that says you did that even though you didn't read anything, his life turns into a living hell. Everything around him crumbles, he's running for his life, he has no idea what's going on. I've seen this movie multiple times, and for a large portion of it, I am absolutely captivated. This is a brilliant looking movie. David Fincher once again is meticulous with his direction. Every shot in this film looks like it's been planned and reshot multiple times until it was absolutely perfect. From seven and onward, it is very difficult to find a technical flaw in a David Fincher film because this guy makes everything look immaculate. And as I said, Michael Douglas is fantastic in this movie. The performances are top-notch. Sean Penn is also really good, despite his limited screen time. My issue with the game is its ending, and in fact, David Fincher has the same issue. He's recently been quoted as saying that he may not have been the right director for the game, and that he didn't feel like he got everything right in the final act. And I actually really respect him for admitting that, because that's what I've been thinking since the first time I saw the game. I find the ending very far-fetched. I find it very convenient. I feel like it just doesn't make the rest of the film work as well as it should. Despite that ending that I don't really enjoy, everything else that came before it I found absolutely enthralling. But the film just has such a good hold on its suspense for a very long time, and I really like the backstory of Michael Douglas's character with his father, and the way that Fincher used old filmmaking to show flashback sequences was also original because that's something that isn't very original in screenplays nowadays, is the flashback scene where you learn things and okay, it's a flashback, but the way that Fincher did it with that old style of filmmaking made it more unique and I appreciated it a lot more and it also stuck in my head a lot more than your average flashback sequence would. So Michael Douglas is fantastic in this movie. It's one of his best performances. The movie looks amazing and for a large portion of the movie, it's suspenseful, it's captivating, it's mesmerizing. It's just that the end makes everything else that happened before it not really make sense. Keep your eye open for an incredible taxi cab sequence with amazing camera work, and I think it's probably the most intense I've ever seen Michael Douglas in a scene. I'm gonna give the game a B plus. I do think it is worth your time. I do think it is a good Fincher movie. It's just that the ending doesn't really work for me. So guys, like I said, I am in LA right now. I'm gonna be visiting the Schmoes No podcast. I'm gonna be going on their other podcast as well, like Profiles, Guilty Movie Pleasures, Jedi Alliance, and Meet the Movie Press. And I'm gonna be doing something special with Screen Junkies. Stay tuned for that, I'm really excited about that, guys. Also, something I'm really excited about is this video actually has a sponsor. I was contacted by Nature Box, which is this really great company that sends you a box once a month of really awesome, healthy foods that you can eat, and eating is awesome! And they sent me one filled with really awesome stuff this is really healthy food. No trans fats, no disgusting oils or anything that you don't want to take into your body. And through the link that I have included in this subscription, you can get one for free as a free trial. They're doing this so they can reach more people. I like my pizza. I like my tacos. But every once in a while, it's really cool to get some French toast granola or some strawberry fig bars, which I ordered came to my house and are delicious, by the way. I'm not just being like one of those guys in a commercial, like, oh, this is so good, it's not good. Like, this is really freaking good, man. <laughs> so like I said, check out the link in my subscription for a free trial to Nature Box, and if you don't like it, you can cancel anytime, and that's cool with them too. Thank you so much, Nature Box, for contacting me. 
I still got honey Dijon pretzels in my mouth. <laughs> Guys, when I'm in LA, I'm gonna try to see the guest and two faces of January. I'm not sure because I'm gonna be so busy, but I definitely wanna see the guest because it's not playing in Ohio anywhere and I wanna get a review for that to you guys. Stay tuned for my reviews of Fight Club and every other Fincher film leading up to Gone Girl, which I'm really excited to give you guys coming early in October. Thank you so much as always for watching guys and I also wanna say to my wife, I love you. This is my first review as a married man. Thank you very much for putting up with my stupidity. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized. <laughs>